Kourtney Kardashian is set to get hitched this weekend to Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker as it promises to be a huge and spectacular event. It appears to be the third time that the loved-up pair have walked down the aisle, following a drunken wedding in Las Vegas and an intimate ceremony in Santa Barbara. This time though the lovebirds invited their entire families and pals along to watch them say I do in spectacular style in the Italian town of Portofino. For their Italian wedding, the couple chose an entire castle with the Blink-182 star, dating back to the 16th century. The pair are expected to say their vows on Sunday as the finishing touches were previously pictured being put up in aerial shots ahead of the major event. In the exciting pictures, a tarpaulin can clearly be seen covering the ground as staff are dotted around working on what is expected to be a spectacular event. What looks like an entertainment booth is already in place as well as romantic fairy lights. The castle offers stunning views of the sea from where the ceremony is hinted to be held. Aerial shots also suggest an intimate garden area is being set up as love seats and chairs were pictured arriving. It appears the couple will be saying their vows outdoors in the gorgeous Italian sunshine as an array of plants and furniture is seen scattered around as staff quickly make the finishing touches. The Daily Mail reports that for the duration of the wedding, the perimeter of the castle will be closed off to the public, to ensure prying eyes are not cause for concern. Signs have been seen to say the steep path leading to Castello Brown from Portofino Harbour will be closed on Sunday and reopened on Monday. According to the website, the castle is ideal for planning your dream wedding a special ceremony or the most exclusive corporate marketing event. It states that its origins date back to the Middle Ages when the Genoese erected it, in a dominant position on the sea to defend the Gulf of Portofino. Castello Brown is a venue full of history, as it dates back as far as the Roman times when it was built to aid military defense. It went on to be used in military battles from the 13th to 19th centuries. It's also previously had links to Hollywood, having served as a location to help film the movie The Enchanted April back in the 90s. During the weekend in Italy ahead of the wedding, the Kardashians were seen living it up on a private yacht as they counted down the hours until their big day. TMZ reports that they were aboard the super yacht Regina d'Italia, as Courtney was pictured in a striking black bikini. The boat was owned by fashion designer pals Dolce & Gabnas, Domenico Dolce & Stefano Gabbana. According to the Daily Mail, the yacht is equipped with extensive entertainment equipment and a state-of-the-art gym and can accommodate up to 12 guests and 16 crew members with each suite named after an exotic animal. The newlyweds have been enjoying their time on board with Courtney's children as well as Travis' children. Earlier this weekend, the Kardashian was spotted wearing a black wedding mini dress ahead of marrying her beau. The eldest Kardashian sister shunned a traditional bridal look as she walked hand in hand with Travis through the streets of Portofino. Courtney, 43, donned a low-cut black mini dress with matching gloves and sported some heavy-looking eyeliner for the romantic outing. The bride completed her look with a black lace veil, that featured an electric blue trim. Not to be outdone, groom Travis also cut a bold figure in black robes and shades as he lead his wife to their destination. The celebration is expected to last for four days, with another reception thought to be planned to take place in L. A. in the not-too-distant future.